Hey everyone. So the next topic that the folks in the People Formula community want me to cover is first impressions. And as we all know, nothing's more important than a first impression because with a great first impression, we're going to develop rapport. After rapport, hopefully we're going to develop some trust. After trust, we're going to form great, healthy, strong relationships that are ultimately going to lead to partnerships in moving forward and being successful in anything that we're attempting to do. So the first thing I love to do making a first impression is smile. There's nothing more accommodating and demonstrating that you're happy to see someone than a good full facial smile. And next, we want to make sure that we're doing a lot of open and accommodating nonverbal. So we want some eyebrow elevation, maybe some, you know, some head tilt exposing a carotid artery on the side, some ventral display, so palms up. Anything that's up and out is showing a high level of comfort and happiness that we're actually engaging with you. Second, I want to make sure I'm having congruence with the things I'm saying as well as my nonverbal so that if I'm making sure that I'm speaking in terms of you and what's important to you, I want high comfort displays when I'm doing that with all these smiling and ventral displays. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure I'm having congruence with your tempo, the other person's tempo of how fast they're willing to talk, inter interchange, exchange ideas. So I want to make sure I'm being congruent with their tempo and accommodating that. And finally, the language I'm going to use. I want to make sure I'm using language that is about them rather than being about me. So I want to make sure I'm including one of these four things in everything I'm saying or writing even. And that is I'm going to be seeking their thoughts and opinions. Two, I'm going to be talking in terms of their priorities of what's important to them. Three, I'm going to be validating those thoughts and opinions. In other words, having that curiosity without judging them. And finally, I'm going to make sure I'm giving them choices because when you're doing one of those four things, the conversation shifts the focus from you to them. So that's it. That's how you make a great first impression. Go forth and do great things.